Hey everybody, my name is Chris Lagarde. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Real Estate, and I'm here to share a little bit with you about a career as a real estate agent. So I help folks buy and sell homes. So if somebody wants to buy a home or sell one, they come to me and my team, and we help them uh, buy or sell the, the house that they're interested in. Why did I choose this job? Um, essentially, I wanted to be in control over my own destiny and have my own business. And I saw real estate as a way to connect how hard I worked with how much income I created. And so uh, I chose a career in real estate because I could do that. If I worked hard, I earned more. And um, I wanted to make sure also that I was doing the right activities because it's possible to work really hard at something, especially in real estate, and not earn a lot of money. You could be doing the wrong things. So um, two things I wanted to describe uh, my role with. The first one is that in order to be successful at being a realtor or a real estate agent, you must be willing to talk to a lot of people every single day. We call this lead generation. So a lead in real estate is when we find someone who wants to buy or sell a home. And so um, if they need to buy or sell, then they're going to come to us and uh, we're going to help them with that. And so we need to find people that we can help. And what I teach people when they first start in the business is that you need to talk to about 20 people every day, Monday through Friday. It's 100 people a week in order to sell the amount of homes that you want to. If you do that, you'll be set. The second thing with being a realtor is that you have to have a huge heart and desire to serve other people, which basically means putting their needs in front of your own. So if it's six o'clock in the evening on a Wednesday and somebody really wants to go out and see a home, well, you can't stay home necessarily and, and um, not show them that home. You've got to put their needs in front of your own and make sure that they're well taken care of. Do you need a special skill or talent to do this job? Well, to be honest, yes, um, it takes a lot of grit. And grit means you, you have the ability and desire to keep working really hard, even though you're not seeing the uh, results that you want right then and there. So you got to be willing to work your heart out for a long time before you see really good results. And I'll be honest, most people, there are a lot of people that don't have the grit it takes to do well in real estate. Uh, and when you stick it out and you do a great job, a career in real estate is very rewarding. So what kind of school or training did, do you have to go through in order to become a real estate agent? Well, you need to graduate high school or get your GHD. Uh, you have to take a couple of courses and that takes about 75 hours of school to learn what it takes to be a real estate agent. And then you have to pass a state and national exam. Yes, it's a test. You have to pass the test. Uh, how do I use math, reading and writing, all that kind of stuff in my job? Well, math is very important because we deal with numbers and people needing to buy and sell things. So we use math. We read a lot. Uh, we read contracts and uh, emails and things like that, as well as writing. Writing is very, very important. Um, and so you got to understand that. Also, reading comes into play uh, around learning and growing. And that's something you should never, ever stop doing. Never, ever stop learning or growing in your life. It, and that absolutely applies in real estate. You want to become the very best person you possibly can be. So you got to keep growing. Um, and obviously writing has to do a lot with communicating with people. So you want to be very good at that. You want to be able to communicate very well. If I could change anything about my job, what would I change? My answer might surprise you. I would change myself, actually. So I still have a lot to learn. I know that there's um, many things that I could grow and get better at. And so um, for me, uh, I'm always looking to be my absolute best. That's my highest goal in life is to be the best version of myself possible. And so that's what I would change. I would change myself. And what advice would I give to anybody interested in becoming a real estate agent? First, be an amazing student. Work your heart out at learning to love and grow and getting better because that's going to help you your entire life no matter what career path you choose and this is actually the third or fourth career path or career that I've had I've had other jobs before this that were not being a realtor so chances are in your lifetime you'll have a couple different careers as well you want to get comfortable doing things that are hard get comfortable working really hard and when you think you've reached your limit go farther do more. So um, that's another piece of advice I'd give anybody, whether you're getting into real estate or not, is get comfortable doing things that are hard. 
You also want to learn to serve people at the highest level and put their needs before your own. That's a habit that you can practice. Also, you know, there's a quote that I heard from somebody that I would love to share with you guys as I close in this conversation. And so the quote goes like this, people don't decide their futures, they decide their habits, and then their habits decide their futures. So if your future is decided by what habits you have, what habits are you putting in place um, to make sure that you've, uh, you're improving and having the life that you want to have? You know, a habit is something that you do over and over and over and over again. So um, a habit might be brushing your teeth every morning or eating dinner at a certain time or doing your homework at a certain time. So think about what habits you have and that what habits uh, are, you know, where they're taking you and what habits might you acquire. Like if you really don't like to work hard right now, how could you create a habit to help you learn how to work hard? So it's just a couple of things about uh, real estate. Um, I would love to answer any questions you guys might have. My email, you can email me at any time, is my first and last name at kw.com. So that's Chris Lagard, L-A-G-A-R-D-E at K-W, as in kellerwilliams.com. And I would be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Have a great day.